Did Connor sell the setup that I gave him? Does his mom need a stepdad? And will Connor now give me more than one word answers? Are you nervous? <laughs> These are all questions you guys want answers to, and we're gonna find out today. Let's get it. So you just build a brand new shiny PC and you're greeted with this nasty notification on the bottom right corner of your screen. Well, instead of going out there and paying full price for a Windows key, you guys can actually get one for less than $15. That's right, you guys can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key for less than $15 by visiting yourcdkey.com or by clicking my link below and using my code TS20 for that extra 20% off. They also sell Windows 11 and Microsoft Office keys and the same discount code applies. Now, once you get your CD key, all you have to do is go into the activation settings on Windows and put in the new key and watch the watermark disappear. All right, lift gets you in five minutes. I'm gonna sit here, get some fresh air in the meantime. Uh, to be honest with you guys, the main reason I'm going to New Mexico isn't to check in on Connor, actually. Uh, you see, I have cousins there who also live in Albuquerque, so I'm just gonna go visit them. But I thought since Connor lives in Albuquerque too, why not pay him a surprise visit? At the end of the day, it is content for you guys anyways. I'm 100% positive he did not sell the setup. I'm 99% positive he did not sell the setup. Is it okay if I record myself? Yeah, sure. Okay, oh, thank you. If the music's up too loud, I can turn it down. That's perfect, thank you. This has always been a topic for many years, you guys. What do people do after they get a free setup from me? Do they upgrade anything? Do they change anything? Do they ruin the entire setup with bad cable management and Cheeto stains? These are all questions a lot of you guys constantly ask me. And to be honest, I'm kind of curious myself. Connor's mom knows that I'm coming over again, but she did not break the news to Connor. So I'm going to be surprising him yet again. so much okay. i appreciate it you thank you very much trip, okay? me too thank you he said i have a safe trip and i said you too Bruh. luckily i'm not checking in my bag because got my carry-on and my backpack so we're all good my driver was really nice he uh, helped me with my bags and he even let me fill them inside of his car so i'm gonna give him a little something something look at that barely any line you guys Sorry? Turn your bin sideways. Oh, sideways, so okay. Hey, one, this is where we're at. Our flight leaves 12.55. It is now 11.50. <laughs> an hour and five minutes early. God damn. I always have anxiety when I'm flying, guys. I missed three flights of my lifetime. And ever since then, every, every time I walk into an airport, my heart just starts pounding really fast because of the fear of missing the flight again. It's crazy. So that's why I always get here like an hour early. It's always weird vlogging in, in the public because I'm like, who's watching me? Who's judging me, you know? Since we're talking about setup makeover, I got some exciting news for season nine, you guys. I've officially picked a winner and we are now in the planning stages. We had over 500 applications. Um, and we narrowed it down to 35 subscribers. Nine of them did not add me back on Discord. 11 of them put the wrong Discord tag, so there's no way of me reaching out to them, which means I only interviewed 15 out of the final 35. And only one person passed the interview. Hi, right, good. Which uh, taco is the more popular, the, uh, the spicy chicken or the carne asada one? They're both good. I mean, they're both nasty. You can do you want to do one asada and then two chicken? Okay, let's do two uh, asada, one chicken, one spicy chicken, please. I realized I haven't really eaten anything this morning and once we land in Albuquerque, we're going straight to Connor's house. I have my cousin picking us up and we're making a beeline straight to Connor's house. So I got to get some food in my system. I'm going to need the energy. This looks pretty good, actually. This looks busting, busting. So the subscriber that passed the interview actually lives in Georgia, USA. And I'm kind of bummed I'm not going to leave the States, even though season nine was supposed to be international, but there's not much I can do. Unfortunately, that's where the subscriber lives. We are on a seven season streak without a Philip situation, you guys. Ever since he sold the setup from season one, 
I completely reworked the application and interview process to make sure that we don't run into another Philip. And so far, it's been working like a charm. The interview is hard, guys. I know it is. Um, if you made it to the final round, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, not everyone passes, but the ones that do, I can 100% vouch for them getting a brand new setup for me. Alright guys, just landed at Albuquerque Airport. I just realized I left my jacket back at the Burbank Airport, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> oh my god, it's freaking freezing, you guys. I'm not used to this cold weather. Look at everyone's wearing jackets and stuff. I'm the only moron here with a t-shirt. <laughs> Oh my god. Where are you, Izzy? It's so cold. There she is. She parked all the way at 8. Why? Why'd you park so far? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Hello. I miss you. Oh, I'm so you. glad to see you. Thank you for picking me up. It's so freaking cold here. Oh my god. And I left my jacket at the airport, at the Burbank airport. Can you believe that? I have been saved. I have been saved. Oh, so warm in here. Oh my God. What the hell happened here? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is where your son hit the window? Yeah, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Buckle up. Or I'll see you in the emergency room in the trauma room. Buckle up. So we're heading straight over to Spots, right? Yes. Over to Connor's house. Yes, yes, we're going to Connor's house. Basically, actually no, as soon as we get out of the car, I'll okay. give you the camera and then you'll record me walking up towards the house and then knocking on the door. Okay. And I think Sat is gonna answer the door. You and see? I'm gonna, yeah, like I told her to answer the door so then I can walk in and go surprise Connor, whatever he's doing. What's the ETA? What are we looking at? We get there. Uh, probably around 15, 20 minutes. Okay, top. sweet, sweet, sweet. So yeah, guys, it is almost showtime. We'll be surprising Connor again. Mm -hmm. See how he's doing. See how he kept the setup. I've been here before and I'm still freaking nervous. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Connor? <laughs> Bet you didn't think you'd see me this soon, right? Get out! How's it going on, man? <laughs> you get it? This whole time. We're in the car. Give me a give me a hug, man. Yeah. Hug. So do you know why I'm here? No. As always, you kept a good uh, secret. I did, I did. Very nice. So I'm just actually in the area visiting family, of course, but I'm like you live here at Albuquerque too. Might as well stop by and see how you're doing post setup makeover and also check and see how well you kept the setup. Is that cool? Come on, yeah. listen up. <laughs> He's still answering me with one word answers. So we have answered one of you guys' questions. All right, let's go into your setup room. Show me what you got. Give me a quick tour. Oh, I like the layout actually. This is nice. You position the couch this way so you can take advantage of the console. Very nice. He's still starting. I was trying to give him hints, but he still couldn't get it. Oh, uh, really? Get it. Oh, yeah. Connor, Connor, Connor. <laughs> Very nice. I was trying to get up. I was like, we went and we saw Ed, you know, in LA. And he's like, Really? Like, just show up at his house? Nice. <laughs> so, Connor, which is your favorite setup now? Do you, is it the console setup or is it this the PC setup? Do you ever PC. use your console setup at all? Yeah, for 2K. Uh, for 2K? Okay. How, how many hours do you spend on this console as opposed to your new setup? Around the same. Why are you looking to your mom for the answer? I don't know. <laughs> so nervous again. Come on! So, it looks like the setup is in one piece. Mm -hmm. It's still here. So that's a good thing. It's like it's honestly the exact same setup. 
same way I left it. So thank you for taking good care. <sighs> all right, so how have you been? Well, first of all, I just wanna, uh, you know, let you know I read the comments and everyone, I am flattered, but Connor does not need an extra daddy. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I loved all the comments and the, yeah, oh but I've God. been good. How are I, you? I wanna apologize, first of all, on behalf of my subscribers, I have a lot of, a lot of pervs and stuff. Most of them have never kissed a girl other than their mom. <gasps> So, you know, I, I, I apologize on behalf of my subscribers, but you were actually the star of the show. They didn't even Thank care you. about Connor <laughs> or Connor's setup. They were actually more interested in you. I so. did, I read all the comments. You did read all it's the comments. It's actually very entertaining. Oh my God, <laughs> I did not expect, for the record, I did not expect you guys to go that hard in the comment section, that was crazy. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like they were just struck by your beauty. Thank you. That's why I'm so <laughs> So just to clear the air, you're taken. Yes, I am. You hear that, I'm guys? taken, guys. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have an ad. Can't have my number. Connor's friends don't want to come over. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. But how has Connor been though after the setup makeover? Has he's, he been? He's been good. He's been very good, actually. I do limit his time a little bit because he does have, you know, sports that he has to do too, and he has okay. a very heavy load of school. So okay, it's. How much do you limit his time on the setup? He has probably about an hour a night. An hour a night? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. So. How does he spend that hour between the Xbox con uh, setup and the PC setup? Well, he doesn't Does he play, pick and choose? Or he, does, does he, he has to pick and choose. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, he does pick and choose. But sometimes he'll play about 20 minutes here and then he'll go on here. He loves the music too, so he likes to show it off. Oh, okay. All the little features and stuff. And we're still trying to learn how to use this thing. Oh, I'm yeah. horrible at it. It's so. a little advanced. It is advanced, <laughs> yes, but no, he's... Has he brought any friends over like to show off? He on the definitely setup? has. All his friends came over after and they saw it. Everyone's in awe. They like the setup? They love the setup, nice. you know. Your boy, yeah, did good. Yes, he did. He did amazing. <laughs> he is the you know, talk of the school. Talk of the, the time. school. So, is, he, yes. is he a popular kid now? He is. He is. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of some of his friends have already noticed on the he, they watch the YouTube channel. So. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Connor is becoming popular because of me. <laughs> Just don't have him forget about me once, he, get, once he gets so popular. You know. I does he actually use this setup for school? Like, does he do? He has. Any? Yeah, he's okay. actually done. Um, He's done a couple of, uh, I think he did a science project and stuff on that too. Oh, nice. So okay. yeah, it's actually nice. I've, I've used it a couple of times too. To <laughs> oh, nice. Well, yeah, it is technically your house. You, it is, you, yeah. The setup service too. Um, so. But before the setup, what, what did he use for schoolwork? Like before? So he used his phone or it was literally a lot of handwriting. So because oh. he uses this to Google and stuff like that. But this year they got Chromebooks and you know, so okay. with the school going to Chromebooks, they use Chromebooks also. Okay, so they, they lend them like a Chromebook they lend, to use? Yeah, they lend them a Chromebook. Those things are always so cheap and slow. Very cheap and, and very really, slow. Yeah. So yeah, he gets, I feel he gets like, very frustrated with that. Oh really? So, yeah, no, it's, this is good, fast. Nice, awesome. So that's good to hear, that's awesome, yeah. So it's like a multi-tool. <laughs> it is, it's like a multi-purpose. Yes, multi there we go, multi-purpose, that's gaming. the right word. Does he watch any movies or like shows he does, on it? He does, um, he listens to a lot of music on there. He loves the stereo system or whatever. Oh, the that sound, sound bar. bar. Stereo he loves system. The <laughs> it's a sound bar, but yeah, that's Yeah, good. the sound bar. He loves the headphones. That's the thing, oh, one nice. thing that drives me crazy because he can't hear me. Those things are like oh, amazing. So that's true. I didn't I'll call his that. name and there's nothing. I'm like, yep, he, he's on his system. I know yeah. when he's on, when he's on the computer because there's no word from Connor. There's no response. No, there's no response. Yeah. And yeah, oh no, that that was, I ha I tried it too, and it's the amazing, amazing. Yeah, so, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. I'm gonna thank grab you your and son. Thank you. Thank you guys for doing this. this Absolutely. Was amazing. Absolutely welcome. Actually, I have a little bit of a surprise for him. Uh -oh. um, I know I didn't actually quite finish this setup last time, and I was a bit upset because you um, did it. I didn't exactly finish it, no. So this plate actually sent me a few posters to hang on there, but they didn't arrive on time. And they got here, I think, like a day later or two days later after yes. they left. So I came here to actually not only surprise Connor with my presence, but also <laughs> to finish this setup for him. I want to hang those posters. I know he's a Star Wars fan. So I got some really nice displays to hang nice. on the Thank setup. Nice, thank you. Here, so I'm gonna surprise him. Yeah, absolutely. 
So I'm gonna grab your son and okay. I'll ask him a few questions. Awesome. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs> so yeah, how have you been, man? Good. Since the, since post set up makeover. Good. Just good? Yeah. You're gonna give me more than one word answers this time? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, how has the setup changed your life? I uh, get to use it for schoolwork. Oh, yeah. Is it a nice upgrade from your Chromebook? Cause that your mom told me they gave you like a, uh, yeah. a Chromebook to use. Like right? a little cr crappy, cheap Chromebook. How, why is it crappy? Is it slow? It's slow and it breaks really easy. It breaks? What breaks? Like the it? corner tab already broke off. Oh my God, that's crazy. So you use the uh, setup mostly for schoolwork now or? or gaming or is it a nice mix between mix, mix nice mix yeah has anyone recognized you from school that wasn't already your friend Cut, yeah really how many people recognized you that are friends or just that are not friends like two or three two or three i'm curious how does that work like do they just come up to you like hey are you that setup makeover kid yeah. what do they say exactly are you the kid from tech source <laughs> you the <laughs> kid from tech source that's yeah. what they say yeah that's crazy. And then what do you say? Yeah. Yeah? That's it? Did they like want to take a picture of you? No. No autograph, nothing? They just, they just say they have seen the video. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. And that's it? They didn't even ask you about the setup? No. Oh, like, hey, how can I get in touch with Ed? Because I would like a setup makeover too. None of those questions? No. Really? Oh, that's awesome. So three people recognize you. What about your friends? A lot. <laughs> All your friends? How many friends do you have? At school? Yeah. Probably like... 30. 30 friends? Jeez, I know dude. most of the 6th grade, 7th grade, and 8th grade. 30 friends? So you have those 30 friends phone number right now on your cell phone. Not all 30. So they're not really your friends. Don't. They don't have phones. Oh, they don't have phones. That's right. That's crazy. 30 friends. Dude, I had like two friends in high school. Two of which I don't even speak to anymore. So that's crazy. It would be crazy to see how many of them you actually keep in touch with after high school. Yeah. So Connor, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. To be honest, I'm a bit disappointed in myself because I didn't finish the setup when I was here last time. Um, we didn't get some things on time. So I came back to make it right. I'm here to hook up some displays for you on your setup on both sides. You're a fan of Star Wars, right? Yes. Your mom told me. So I've got you two badass looking Star Wars displays. You know what a display is? Yeah. What is it? It's a magnetic poster. The metal posters, yes, exactly. Have you seen The Mandalorian on Disney? Part of it. Part of it? What do you think about it? It's good so far. Nice. Then you're gonna love these displays. So this is the first one we're gonna be hanging. That looks good. Really dope. It's gonna match your color scheme as well, so that's yeah. why I kind of went with those colors. Yeah. Because there's a bit of blue and uh, teal on here as well. And then your second one. Bam. That looks sick. I'm gonna hang these out uh, on your setup and I'll call you and you can check it out. Okay. okay? Cool. All right, we'll be hooking up the first disc plate. And these things are so easy to install, guys. You don't have to like poke holes into the wall. All you gotta do is use this protective leaf. Peel the backing. And then we're gonna stick it right here on the wall. And then we're gonna grab the magnetic square, peel off the plastic cover on one end, and I'm gonna put, put the sticky part right here where it says stick the magnet here. So I'm gonna stick this on here and apply some pressure. And just like that, you're good to go. And then you basically stick this on there. It's all magnetic, so it's gonna stick really nicely. Look at that. All right, now we're gonna be hooking up the second display over here, same exact process. So protective leaf is on there. Now we're adding this magnetic piece. And the cool part about these displays, Connor, is that if you get tired of looking at the same pictures, you can swap them out whenever you want. And it's so easy because they don't basically stick on the wall. They stick on the magnetic piece. So you come here, you pop it off and you can swap out any display you want. You can go on the website. There's a bunch of really cool designs you can choose from, from thousands of talented artists. So. Maybe you grow out of Star Wars and you want something else. Maybe you want Fortnite displays, who knows? Now this looks like a complete setup. Yes. So you rated your setup 11 out of 10 okay. from my understanding. So now with the posters, what is it? 100 out of 10. Okay, let's not exaggerate, okay? okay. She told me to, she told me to, she told me to. Let's not exaggerate. <laughs> 
Uh, so what would your fire rating be? 50. 50? Yeah, that's still a lot. Okay. 15? We'll keep it at 11. No, he okay. said 15. Oh, you said 15. Yeah. I thought you said 50. No. Okay, 50. I'll take 15. That's good. That's good. Thank you again for letting me come into your house. I promise no more surprise visits anytime soon. You can enjoy your setup in peace. So once again, congratulations. Thank you for not selling the setup. Enjoy it. Thank you for coming out and giving me the setup. Absolutely. You're absolutely welcome. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next video. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See you in the next video. Nice. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to my ba welcome back. Bye. <laughs> We're gonna start that over again. <laughs>